Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Tonight we've got episode two of Fears to Fathom, Norwood Hitchhike. Um, yeah, uh, it looks like we've got a seedy motel here and some kind of wind turbine. Other than that, I don't really know much about it. I wanted to see if I could turn up the mouse sensitivity because in the first episode it was kind of low, but it doesn't look like I can. Right. There we go. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2. Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now, so a few years. So I remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized that traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take a long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. I haven't gone to any gaming conventions, but I've definitely had these road trips where it's like 12 hours. Uh, why would I want to get out? Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, well, at least it used to be. What, why are we stopped? What's going on? I couldn't drive leaving my stuff behind. I, d I don't understand what's happening. To read those when we're not driving. So yeah, um, I haven't done it in a while, but I used to, whenever I would take a road trip, uh, I would sleep all day, and then I would drive overnight because there's always left tra less traffic at night. Um, and so uh, whenever you hit the city centers at like 3 o'clock in the morning, gas. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. How do you forget gas? Um, when you hit like the major cities at like 3 a.m. and there's nobody on the road, you just blaze through them. It's so, so nice. Uh, please stop texting me while I'm driving. You know better than that, Dad. If that is your real name. Gas station. Hello? 
Where even is the gas tank on this car? I don't I don't see the thing. Uh ma'am. Hi, can I get ten dollars on pump two? You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. You got it. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out there. For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say Norwood Valley uh, Monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Thanks for the gas. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. You heard about the Norwood Valley Monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley Monster, you know anything? Big mistake. You can buy a cola. Uh, let's read our text messages. Uh, Mom, Holly, Mom. Uh, Dad. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to take that. I, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10-hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Uh, Aiden's contact information. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Where did you reach? Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you get uh, when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. I'll be all right, Dad. Uh, Aiden. Discord. We got ticks, so? I'll see, if I get, uh, I'll see if I can get the car. Let me know. Finally going to take Milo on a walk, lol. All right, lol. Okay, the plane is on. Hell yes. Wait, you're getting the car? Yep. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard, too. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord. Where are you? Almost there. I don't see you. Peach shirt? It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Smiley face. Again, you sure driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, Dad. Not sure if it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the century. That sucks. It's not good to hear either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, reader is the thing that I just got. Uh, I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you pick up some up for Milo? I'll pick you, pay you back. Uh, do you got any dog food? That'll be five dollars. For good boys and girls, pat pat. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. How do I how do I fill up the car? It still says I'm low on gas. Uh 
Oh, I've got to be at this one. Can you can you just back it up? Back it up, Terry. And then just a, l a little bit. There we go. Fuel up. Fuel up the car's tank. I filled the tank and I was off again. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. It's a little dramatic. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Uh, Mom, please stop texting me while I'm driving. It's dangerous. Uh, why did our lights go out? There they are. That guy at the gas station fuck with our, um, what are they called? Our fuses? Uh, I don't like that. There wasn't a flashing lights warning at the beginning of this game, was there? It is too dark for us to be driving. And yet on we go. There we go. Here's the bridge. Is this the whole game? There's this very weird thing about that night. Oh, um... Thought I could drive past those logs, but they wouldn't budge. Uh, we should not get out of our car. Um, we should turn around and drive back. Uh, no. 
It almost seemed as someone had deliberately put those there. Yeah, that that's the thing. They were heavy. Uh, excuse me? Other way, other way. So if you're ever driving at night and you see logs like this, uh, just put it in reverse, turn around, drive back. Uh, don't... Don't do what this protagonist is doing. Car wouldn't start back up. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Uh, surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas station, and you don't need to pay me for it. It's not expired or anything, right? Uh, I'm not saying something, but I would be lying if I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Uh, throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Which one of these do I need? Ten twenty three PM I saw a car nearing. Pure evil. I didn't understand how someone could leave another human being stranded like that. Because they think that you're going to rob them. You're the girl from the gas station. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. Can't call for help, there's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Uh, this is where a sprint button would really come in handy. If you just, uh... Uh, on pushing shift, increase the speed by point or by 1.5. Anything else? Uh, 
Am I grabbing everything? Yes, I'm getting everything. All right, now get in the car. Get in the truck. What's wrong with you? It's not safe to get out here. I really don't think we need the skateboard and the hat. Let's go. Hurry up, I need to get moving now. Finally, now hop in and be quick. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. Um, I was driving home, and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. What? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. Really lucky I had to be on this side of the... Uh, you're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Uh, it's an old car. That's it? I think so. So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, he really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells you that, uh, idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are, there are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. You seem alright. Twelve oh eight AM After a little bit of small talk he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Not approved for occupancy. Well, that's, uh, that's not what you want to see when you go to a hotel. Man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? Uh, how much is it for a room? $40 for a single. Pay cash only. Room number nine, right over there. 
Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Well, I, I wasn't going to bother the other guests, but now that you've said that, I think that I might need to. Uh, room number nine. Room number nine. Uh, Mom, Holly, uh, Aiden Williams. Hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. Uh, Dad, uh, what do you mean reroute? So the rerouting was sent to Aiden. Can we? We can't send these. Okay. Uh, it was nice and warm inside. Is there no mattress? Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell you get from old houses. It's mildew in the carpet. Um, why is there no mattress in this hotel room? Couldn't have slept there. We've got the same thing from the first episode. Uh, what are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn. Find a stop over in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Only had two hands. Okay, so I can I can carry two things. All right, now there's a mattress. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Hehehe. <laughs> but you have a good night. Maybe next time we take a road trip, we should only use one suitcase. Just get a big suitcase, put all of your stuff in it. And a duffel bag. And then that way you can carry everything with just two hands. And then you don't have to do all this back and forth. All right, perfect. Close. All right, nobody's in our bathroom. There's no mirror in the bathroom. The mirror is out here. It's a fake mirror. Shame on you. Uh, creepy paintings. I guess we go to bed. Uh, 
hi there. Call it foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Couldn't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. Uh, was it the guy peeking in at you? The feeling uh, tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. The a hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. Is there coffee here? There's cola. All right. Close you. Is there a coffee machine over here? There's a coffee machine. Consume. Oh, uh, that's not good. That's very not good. My controls are reversed if you're wondering why I'm... Other way, other way. Other way. don't know are we good Three eighteen AM. I was sedated. Twenty 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 four hours ago, I want to be sedated. The phone was just ringing. Still can't read anything from dad.
auto saved? Or does it pick me up? All right, that's not too bad. So they put the sedation in the coffee machine. seems quite involved. I was dated. I would love it if the autosave was for now. Okay, so that's him getting into the closet. Didn't feel safe going out. Where's the, um, where's the hotel owner? Wasn't he over here? I miss whatever triggers the next thing. There he is. Okay. Joe from front desk, open the door. Didn't I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. Where is he? Uh, go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. I said go back now.
There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. There's no, like, water in my room, though, so... I still can't read the text messages. Am I just supposed to swallow the pills dry, or...? Now is it empty? It looks empty. So somebody set up a coffee machine at the corner of the hotel just to drug somebody and then hide in their closet. Please open the door. I need help. I need your help, please. Please open the door. I know you're in there. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on.
To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Uh, Survivor survived through the second episode. Game by rail. So that one was a little bit more uh, involved in the first game, which I enjoyed. Um, and I did find sometimes I wasn't sure how to proceed. Uh, there was the one part where the um, the hotel manager, um, I was just waiting for him because I'd been through that part before and he never showed up. Um, and then uh, the auto save. I wish that the auto save was just for that night and not for or the, uh, that time and not for the, the previous chapter. Um, if you're going to have like a death in that closet, the auto shave should really be like right there. Um, and then uh, at the end, I wasn't sure how to get the guy to, to go. Um, I do want to say that I know that you've taken the story, I think, from Reddit. Um, and so the I believe that there was a drug ring or something in that town. It, it makes sense coming from the thing, but it's kind of a logical leap. Uh, so yeah, those are all my thoughts. Uh, thank you guys for joining me for another night of Strange and Scary Games. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Good night.